Jason. Run, uh, Jason Carlisle, 247. With Tate out, you got Jaleel. Yeah. And you guys mix the match a little bit on the offense line Saturday. Just, is that kind of the, the plan? Just kind of look at that throughout the week? It is right now. Yeah, and what we'll have to do, Jaleel came in and played. Um, you know, it was unfortunate, too. It was just, a you know, what happened to Tate kind of on a scramble right there, and the guy just hit his elbow. You know, that that happens. Um, and so he got banged up pretty good, obviously. But Jaleel, and then we'll we'll move some guys around. We'll take a look at it. Avery Jernigan has also played center for us. So we got to figure that out with the best five and what that's going to look like. And, you know, there might be some rotation in there. But that'll be, you know, what we do come Tuesday and Wednesday and just really try to sort that out and figure it out by Thursday so we can get really quality reps, you know, on that final practice on Friday before we go into the game. Justin Ferguson, Auburn Observer. Coy had a big game for you guys yeah. on Saturday. Just how much did that mean for the offense to see him kind of step up and moving forward with, you know, kind of his role in the wide receiver? Room? Yeah, he did a really good job. So we had a little trick play and they had it covered. He made something happen with it, right? So, um, and it was it was good on his end, all right, just to go create something, but also take care of the football. I mean, he's a really smart player. That's the one thing. That's why we put him in those positions. He's really smart. Um, and it was good to see him get the ball in his hands and do some things. You know, Robbie had one. It was a little boot. Guy got in his face, and he threw it low, and, and Coy had a great catch on it, made something happen, had a great catch on the fade ball on our sideline. So, you know, he's a guy we got to continue to keep getting going, but I liked his attitude in the game, a lot of energy, wanted the ball in his hands. You know, just that mentality was big for us, especially in that game. So we'll keep building on that because he's, he's a good player. And I think what we saw, we can we can do some more things to try to get him in the mix. You know, we had a couple of young players. Omari got the ball in his hands. Camden got the ball in his hands. So we had a few things at the wide receiver position that was good. We need to do more of that, all right, and use those guys. Um, and we're trying to do those things. But it was good to see Coy have his opportunity. Brian, I hope you're doing well today. I am. Um, How are you doing? I'm good, man. Good. Uh, late workout. We're going to be here. All right. <laughs> Anyway, um, two four games, how would you assess where your offense is? And if there's things to improve on, how do you improve on this? Yeah, there's plenty to improve on. I, I think, you know, number one, uh, just the situational stuff. And, and really, let's just go back to turnovers. So we were plus in the last game. That was big. You know, I was proud of our defense. We didn't turn the ball over on offense. Uh, that was something that we had talked about all right all year. And certainly leading into the season and certainly through the season, we've talked about the takeaways. But number one, uh, continue on that trend. Take care of the football. All right. Number two, in the situations, right, we got to be better. Some of those third downs, you know, that's one of the situations I'm talking about. Red zone's been decent, but like really our third downs, you know, we want to be better in those areas. Um, and then balance it out, you know, run and pass. You know, you'd like to be able to do that better. So, you know, those are the challenges every week that we have. We're trying to continue to work on that. I think our guys know that. So if we can get some of the pass game, run game going and balance that out a little bit more, that'll help us. Brian, what's TJ's status for Saturday? Do you expect him to be practicing? Yeah, I do. He'll practice this week. Um, and I you know, expect those guys to be out there. So, you know, we'll see how the week goes. Uh, so going off of that with, with Robbie, his first start, how you kind of assess it going back and watching how, how he did, how he kind of managed some of, some of the things, especially with the screen one ability. Yeah, I thought Robbie managed things well. I really do. I thought uh, under the circumstances, go back and watch the film. He did a good job. Um, I think he made some good decisions for us. You know, we took care of the football. And, you know, I know he was, he was really excited about having an opportunity to go out there and start and play, and then, as he should. And he played well, and he utilized his legs. He made some good throws at times. Um, so, I mean, overall, and I thought his just his demeanor on the sideline, attitude, approach, everything going into the week was really, really good. So I like where he was at, all right, going into the game. I like where he was at after the game. I know he was emotional, and it was a big game for him. Um, and so that's something to build on going into this week, right? He's got that just uh, experience to go out there and actually start and play. He's been playing, but to start and play and to, to really have the whole week of, of repping the game plan, we can build on that. So we'll see what that looks like going into this week. Brian, Brian Stoltz, Auburn Rivals. Um, Keontae has the potential to be explosive on punt returns, but it seems like he lets the ball bounce a lot when he could catch it 
Is that something that he's working on and you guys are working on with him? He can definitely be explosive, and he really is. He's one of those guys that can go. I, I think um, we all see that. And in the last game, the sun was a factor as well. That that became that became a factor. And I think we we had put him in a spot. I think we had him too deep on one of them. You know, we thought that. Uh, you know, we we obviously thought very highly of their punter, and he didn't get a hold of it like we thought. So we had him a little bit deeper, and he came up, made a, a decent decision on it. Um, so that's not his fault. You know, we got to put him in a better position there. But overall, he can catch it. He can make guys miss. He can do a lot of really good things. We got to help him. We got to get the other 10 guys on punt return to really to help him out there. But uh, we did let the ball bounce. There was one, and that's where he lost it in the sun, and the ball bounced. And that's one of the things, you know, when, the, when you let that happen, you're going to lose. And this goes back a lot of years. I mean, on average, you're going to lose about 15 yards of field position, you know, it, when you do that. And then the ball kicks like it did. So uh, we want to catch every single ball we can. He knows that. Um, you know, I don't think the sun's going to be a factor going into this game, but you know that's something that stuff we're working on every single week. Ryan, you talk about Robbie and how beneficial it is for him to have a startup. How beneficial is it for a coaching staff to have now watched a guy go through a start and now where you can start to tweak things a little bit towards? Him? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. No, it was good. It was good because you get to see every single play. Right? I know Holden came in there. Robbie had to go out for a couple drives. Holden came in, uh, but to see Robbie go through it. And, and good and bad, right? I mean, all of it. That's, that's really what it comes down to. You get to see all of it. You get to see the good and the bad. And so you get it, you're able to tweak throughout the week on those things. And for him as well, you know, he went back and he studied the film from the game. He knows what he did well, what he has to work on. And so now you can build from that going into this week. And, you know, that's the plan right now is to take what we learned in the last game, apply it to this week and then keep building on, on some of the positive things we did and then try to really correct some of those negatives that we know we can be better at and make sure that happens going into this game. Uh, well, Southern New Glass and Advice over on AL.com. Um, when you look at your offense line, you mentioned Tate being on obviously the lost Bronco earlier. How do you, I guess, figure it out when considering what you're with the run game? Because initially you were saying I wanted to leave. The yes. Run. Yeah. How do you figure what out? That's a, what, it, what exactly? Do you, okay, <laughs> there's you there's a lot in there. Yeah. <laughs> I guess yeah. The thing is how do you figure out how to? Yeah. I guess improve on the run game and protection and so on. And so forth. Sure. Well, you know, it, a lot of that comes back to all right. What are we doing? All right. So let's look at what we're doing first. All right. And what is the defense doing? You know, are we are we putting our guys in the best position to be successful? All right. So, do we have the right scheme and are we fitting it correctly? We put them on the right guys. And then it's a, it's a fundamental thing, right? Blocking. It comes back to that. Are we doing things with our techniques to teach the blocking the way we need to? All right. Are we drilling that stuff? So every, and, and, and each opponent's different, right? Every D line we face, every linebacker that blitzes, they're all a little bit different. They're all built differently. Um, I think they bring different traits to the table. And that's really what you're preparing for is, is all these different variables. But at the end of the day, I mean, you got to have your man. So we got to put him in the right spot where we got him matched up on the right people. And then we got to work on the, the fundamentals of the blocking. And then we got to work on the techniques to get that done against that particular opponent. That's really what, what happens each and every week. So, um, it's a work in progress. We want to be better. I know we all do. And so as coaches, scheme, drills, techniques, we got to coach it. We got to prepare them. We got to get those guys ready. We got to execute it. I mean, all those things have to happen. And that's why every single week you go back to work. You know, we go back to doing those same drills or if it's not working, we go back to doing something else that's going to be better for us. All right. On the practice field to get us uh, in a position where we go out there and actually play. We've improved in those areas. And, and I know we can. I've seen it from our guys. I've seen it. I've seen where, you know, we can create uh, opportunities in the run game. I've seen the protection be really, really good. We just got to be consistent with that and, um, that's what we're doing right now, putting together those plans so that we can coach that, that we can get the guys in the right spots, give them a chance to be successful. And, you know, that's on our coaching staff right now. And then we got to go out there and execute it throughout the week to have confidence in it come Saturday. Brian. Yes, Brian Matthews, on the uh, Brian, have you looked at um, some issues you had after a halftime offensively as far as the running game, third downs and such over the last five or six? Uh, sure. How to address that? Yeah, well, it's it's. Uh, I wouldn't say it's the same thing, but yeah, we we've looked at that. The second half in those areas, we got to be better. 
You know, that's an obvious statement there. Um, what are the reasons behind that? You know, I think both sides adjust a little bit. So, you know, it, it comes back to, you know, we got to make some better adjustments. Um, and I also think, you know, there's, there's opportunities there that, that we've left on the field and we've got to, we got to have confidence in that. We got to be able to come back to some things that work for us too. Uh, we know that. So, you know, it really, it's not just one thing in particular. It's, as you go back and watch a game, right? We should have came back to this. We should have done that. You know, we could have coached that up better. Um, this was a bad scheme. You know, we put some things in and we've done some stuff also where we made adjustments that were really good. You know, so it's that balance. And, you know, we, we don't want to come out in the second half and, and not be more productive. You know, that's the goal that you want to have at halftime is you kind of know what they're doing. You know where you're at. You got to make some of those adjustments and then get some of your, your best plays and, and the ball in your best players' hands in the second half. And, you know, we're still a work in progress there, but that's a focus that we want to get better at. Mark Murphy inside the Tigers. How did Holden do for the first time in a college game? And this yeah. Weeks <laughs> yeah. Something happened to him. Was Trey Lindsey the next guy up? Uh, yeah, no, not necessarily, but I, I'll I'll stick with Holden. Um, you know, really, he was good. I mean, he didn't he didn't look that productive when he was out there, but he came off the sideline, and really for him, it's like, hey, just settle in and play ball. But you can imagine running out there, right? He can he can practice a certain way. You can do all these things. You can have a, a great demeanor. But when you run on the field, it doesn't matter who you are. For the first time, all right, the juices are flowing. And he's he's only going to get better for it. You know, he's still going to be a guy that we're going to keep in the mix. And we'll see how he operates this week. I thought he was he was really good last week. I thought his preparation. Um, and here's a guy, right, you walk in the building on Monday. He's sitting in the coach's offices studying film. So he has those qualities, all right? The execution piece, you know, playing that position, the experience, all that stuff's going to come. But as far as his approach, his attitude, like what you want is, is in a guy that's going to prepare to play that position, he's got it. So he's only going to get better. And, you know, he kind of came into a tough situation as well, you know, thrown right in there. And it was good Robbie was able to come back. But um, he'll have himself prepared this week. I think he's got a better idea of what he needs to do. All right, going into this game. So if he's thrown back in there again, he's ready to go out there and execute the plays and, and do his job. So I'm excited for him. I think he is too. You know, he got a little taste, and because of that, it'll be in a better week for him. Jason, Ron, what have you seen from this LSU defense um, over the course of the season, especially yeah. outside? Yeah, they're really good. I, I think the things they're doing um, just up front. I think the front seven's really good. Now they got two guys in the back end. They're returning starters. They got two guys up front. Uh, but the things they're doing, just schematically, I think they're doing a really good job. I think their players play really hard. Uh, I think they play physical. I think they're fast. Um, I don't. I don't see a lot of holes in their defense. I think they're just well coached, um, and it seems like the guys know what they're doing, and they're getting to the football, and they're um, they're playing hard each and every down. So, I mean, to me, that's the challenge, right? When you see that on film, you got good players playing hard, and they're doing the right things. So, to me, that's. I'm impressed with them, and you know our job is to figure out how we go out there and, and find some weaknesses somehow, some way to uh, to go take advantage of it. Anything else? Thoughts? Uh, Brian, how would you assess the <clears throat> two quarterbacks today? How would you assess how it went? And then, assuming Finley can play, would that be something you go back to? Yeah, well, we'll see. It's a new week, you know, and uh, under the circumstances, I think that was you know, part of our plan, right? I'm, and uh, this last week, that was not part of the plan, you know? So as the season goes on, things change. And, you know, unfortunately things happen, right? Guys get, guys aren't able to play. Some things happen and, and you got to tweak and change. And that's the beauty of the season, right? You're always adjusting things because you're dealing with people. And, you know, this last week was different. Now looking at it, you know, there was plenty of things in there that we can be better at, but there were some really positive things we took away from it too. Even just the week of preparation, leading into it. So uh, I think we did what we needed to do early on, and we'll see what that looks like going into this week. But we know both models. We've seen them now um, in four games. So, you know, now it's a chance for us to go out there and, and see what we want to do this week and what fits best for LSU. All right, Coach. Appreciate okay. it. All right, thanks, guys. Have a great afternoon. <laughs>